Iraq is one of the few places on earth where Christians were found in the first century. Christians there traced their history to St. Thomas the Apostle, and Christianity began to spread in the towns and villages of ancient Mesopotamia. As of 2014, Christians are no longer in many of those ancient towns, including in the city of Mosul. It is the first time in 2,000 years these parts of Iraq are void of Christians. This is the story of the Christian Iraqis. It is a story with a rich history, but to fully understand the past, we first need to grasp what has happened in recent years. So we look at the politics behind the story. Since the 2003 invasion, Christians have been constantly under attack as terrorists move into the country. In the summer of 2014, a new terrorist group emerged. ISIS marked the Christians with an N for Nazarene. Their options were to get out of their villages, convert to Islam or pay a tax, or be killed. Wasim Aloti fled Iraq with his wife, two young boys, and his in-laws. ISIS invaded his town of Bartella the day his brother-in-law was to be married. 2010 marked a major turning point. Six suicide bombers attacked Our Lady of Salvation Church in Baghdad just 20 minutes after Sunday Mass began. They started killing the worshipers, saying they were sending the Christians to hell and themselves to heaven. Hours later, Iraqi commandos stormed the church, inducing the attackers to detonate their suicide vests. 58 worshipers, priests, policemen, and bystanders were killed. 78 were wounded or maimed. This forced many Christians out of Baghdad. The Baghdad church was one of hundreds of churches destroyed throughout Iraq and among many Christian institutions damaged or destroyed by terrorists, including St. Elijah, a 1,400-year-old Assyrian monastery in Mosul. Father Rahid Aziz Ghani was killed with three subdeacons following Sunday Mass in the summer of 2007. He was warned to close the church, and when asked by the gunmen why he hadn't, Father Rahid replied, How can I close the house of God? The gunmen demanded that the four men convert to Islam, and they refused, so they were shot down. Father Rahid was the secretary to Archbishop Paulus Faraj Rahu. Archbishop Rahu was murdered only nine months after Father Rahid's death in the same city of Mosul. The archbishop was kidnapped from his car. His bodyguards and driver were killed. They shoved the bishop into the trunk of a car. In the darkness, he managed to pull out his cell phone and call the church, telling officials not to pay a ransom for his release. He believed that this money would not be paid for good works and would be used for killing and more evil actions. The archbishop's body was later found buried in a shallow grave near Mosul. The Christians from Iraq speak Surath, a dialect of the language Jesus Christ spoke, which is called Aramaic. The Church of Iraq is known as the Church of the Martyrs. The 40-year persecution took place in the 4th century. Chaldean Patriarch Marsham Un Bar Sabai was beheaded with other clergy and many faithful on Good Friday. Their killings were ordered by the Persian pagan king. The Christians were killed because they were accused of going against the state. A deacon who was also killed during the same time, accused of being a state enemy, made it known to many that he was actually being killed because he was a Christian. Over the centuries, countless Iraqi Christians have been martyred for their faith. Father Douglas Bazzi is another living witness to history. In 2006, he was kidnapped and tortured for nine days, and he was ridiculed by his abductors. They starved him and gave him no water for four days. He was chained to a toilet. They smashed his teeth and back with a hammer. When he was alone, Father Douglas used the chains that bound him as a means of praying the rosary. Each link was used to count a Hail Mary. He ministered to his kidnappers at night, who often asked for his advice and even his forgiveness. Before 2003, there were about 1.4 million Christians in Iraq. After the 2014 ISIS invasion, there are less than 250,000. These families are displaced all over the Middle East, Europe, and the United States. In the Middle East, they're living in tents, caravans, and in some cases on the streets. 
Many have no running water and little food. Chaldeans from the U.S. traveled to Iraq to assess the situation and to offer help. Sister Christine happened to be in Iraq visiting when ISIS first invaded. Since the ISIS invasion, Iraq has had a shortage of doctors and medical resources. Many people are suffering. Some have died because there isn't sufficient medical care. Eight-year-old Sarah Saeed died in Karam Leas in northern Iraq from liver disease. One of her sisters and her brother have the same disease. HelpIraq.org was established by Adopt a Refugee to help the displaced Christians in Iraq. Basil Bacall established Adopt a Refugee after the 2003 invasion. Now you know what has happened. How do you see yourself helping?